You can set the print order in Cura to all at once or one at a time. When multiple objects are printed at the same time, the layers of all objects are printed at the same time as well, resulting in a lot of travel movements of the nozzle between the objects. This can lead to printing errors such as stringing or blobs at the start of the next layer. You also save a lot of printing time since the printhead has to cover less distance. Therefore, sequential printing or one at a time is very popular to print many objects on one print bed quickly and without errors. When using the print order one at a time in Cura, the positioning and the height of the object is very limited. How to get around the limit in the height of the object I show you in the second part of this video. First, let's take a look at what the printhead settings in Cura are for and why they are so important when you are using sequential printing. You can find them in the machine settings of your 3D printer. The printhead settings consist of the dimension of the printhead in x and y directions as seen from the nozzle position and the height of the x-axis while the nozzle is at the height of the first layer. If this is the printhead from above and this is the position of the nozzle, x max is the distance between the nozzle position and the right outer edge of the printhead. x min, y max and y min are the distances to the corresponding other outer edges. The x-axis height or gantry height is the distance between the print bed and the bottom edge of the x-axis. You can measure all these values relatively easily. You don't necessarily need a caliper for this. Depending on how confident you feel in your measurement, you can add one or two millimeters to the values as a safety margin and subtract it in the case of the gantry height. Once you have entered the printhead settings and set the print order to one at a time, shadows will appear around the objects. These shadows indicate the outer edges of the printhead as the object is printed. If you move another object inside the shadow of another, there would be a collision while printing. However, Cura notices this by overlapping the shadows with the objects. Cura will generate an error message if you try to slice in this constellation. As long as only the shadows of the objects overlap, no collisions occur. After switching to printing objects one at a time, the print volume has also been drastically reduced. The height of the print volume now corresponds to the value you entered as gantry height. If you would print an object higher than this value, there would be a collision of the x-axis with this object as soon as the print head moves between the other objects. How you can avoid collisions and the error message I will show you after this example how the normal way to use this print order looks like. As an example, I have printed the individual parts of three Pokeballs one at a time. The tallest objects are 2 mm smaller than the gantry height. As you can see, the printhead switches between the objects randomly during printing to print them one at a time. There are no collisions. As long as the objects are lower than the gantry height, the order in which they are printed does not matter. The result are objects printed without errors, with no stringing between them and with a shorter print time than if I had printed them all at once. But it is also possible to print taller objects one at a time with Cura. For that you have to know what your printer does after the print and define the order in which the objects are printed accordingly. If you follow the steps described in the following, you do so at your own risk. Errors can cause collisions that can damage your object and or your printer. Most 3D printers move the print bed forward and the print head to the left once a print has been completed. This allows the user to admire the finished object and comfortably remove it from the print bed. If you want to avoid the limitation of the print volume when printing one object at a time, you always need to keep this movement at the end of the print in mind so that there are no collisions. To be able to print high objects one at a time, you first have to increase the gantry height in Cura. In principle, you can set this to the normal height of the print volume. The first rule when positioning objects that are actually too high for the print order one at a time is that they can't be positioned next to each other on the x-axis. Otherwise, the x-axis would drive into the previously printed object from above. This means that the objects have to be positioned one after the other along the y-axis. If you position the objects offset one behind the other, it is easiest to check for a possible overlap from the side. Now you need to set and check the order in which the objects are printed. If your 3D printer pushes the print bed forward after printing as mine does, the first object has to be at the front of the print bed and the last object has to be at the back of the print bed. Otherwise, the x-axis would collide with all the objects on the print bed after printing. Unfortunately, you can't directly influence the order in Cura. So you have to check the order by scrolling through the layers in the slice preview. If the order is not correct, change the position of the objects until the order is correct. 
If you have done everything correctly, the objects will be printed one after the other without causing a collision. I actually use this trick every time I want to print multiple objects while saving printing time and avoiding printing errors. If you want to know how I can achieve this perfect print with adhesion, you should watch this video. And I hope you don't cause any collisions with the print order one at a time and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.